Well, this looks like a pretty good spot, mate. Cherubin in here, you reckon? Well, that running water. All right, I reckon. We'll set him up here, eh? It's the go. I'm going to see if we can catch a few uh, cherubin and red claw. And I've picked this little location here because we've got some running water and they do like the running water. And of course, fresh water. So I've got a couple of opera house pots and they call them an opera house pot because, if you look at that, it looks like the opera house. But, I've got a little secret weapon here in my pocket because you've got to have some bait. Fancy feast they call it. And this one is cod, sole and shrimp. Now, so doesn't that sound tasty? Almost tasty enough for me to eat. Oh, and gee, I think Simon would eat it. Anyway, the trick is... I think you're dreaming trying to catch cherubim with cat food. All right, mate, all right. You just believe that. You believe that one, and I, when I catch them, I eat them. All right. So you don't take the contents out. All we do is we stab holes in it. Try and stab a hole in your hand. The beauty of this stuff is... Well, it cost about 40 cents for a tin. But it's easy to transport in your car, it doesn't smell. So obviously, you don't stab the holes in, then put it in your car, you wait till uh, you bring it out to the river. All right, I'll get all these ready, and then we can chuck them in. Well, that ain't gonna work. That's working well, mate. <laughs> That weed behind me, that, it's like carpet weed, it's an absolute blanket. I've never seen it that thick before. It's almost like you want to sort of run across it. Hey, Jace! Well, I wouldn't. Fuck! What? A snake! Are you got a snake? Grab him! What is it? A python or some sort of, one of those black-headed pythons. Is it? Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, he's a beauty. Oh, he's pretty, uh... It's pretty friendly. So far, so good. <laughs> He's got like a bit of a cut on him there, Simon. He does. You see it? I do. A bit of a gouge right there on the back of his neck. Now this guy here, he's a black-headed python. Very common around this area. And, mate, he'd be in these rocks here for sure. He'd be hunting. He'd it's be the hunting. Time, time of the afternoon oh, they come yeah. out, eh? He'd be hunting for little frogs and little skinks. Maybe even, maybe even little fish, depends on how quick he is. He's wrapping around your arm there. You want to be a little bird stuck in there, mate, could be all over. Yeah, well, that's how, he, that's, that's how the snake catches his prey. What he does, he's got a set of, set of teeth, top and bottom, and they actually angle backwards, and he'll actually grab his prey with that. Those angled teeth facing backwards, they lock in, so that the prey can't get away, and then instantly, He'll coil himself around that prey and he will lock it in and constrict tighter and tighter and tighter until his prey takes the wind, can't take another breath, so he'll asphyxiate his prey and then from there he'll just basically dislocate his jaw and swallow that thing whole. And he'll slowly pull it, push it down into his, into his stomach and then you go and hide in a rock somewhere. How about we put him back, mate, eh? I think so. He's starting to look at me like he's had enough. Yeah? He getting hasn't, a bit grumpy, is he? He hasn't bitten me yet, but... Yeah, he looks a bit grumpy there. Come on. It's all good. I'll put him back over in those rocks there, because he'll, he'll love that over there. That's where he'll be hunting. Oh, well, let's go, mate. Oh, let's go back and cook some dinner, eh? Sounds good, buddy. That time Sounds of the good. day. A good size too. Is that? Yeah, they're beauties. Oh, they look all right, don't they? They're beauties. Now these guys here, this one here we call a cherubin, and they're predominantly in the fresh water. And this one here is a red claw, and he's also in the fresh water. You might get them in the brackish water, but you won't see them in the salt. Now, they're quite tasty, very, very tasty. You want to eat the body, which is the tail part, or you can use them for bait. This one here, top barrel bait. But you call them red claw, because that one thing there on either claw. 
There it is. And that's why they call them a red claw. You get them in dams as well. But they're tasty little morsels. But we got a bit of a feed. So we might head back to camp. <laughs>